Hey guys, how are you? My name is CJ and welcome to Injury Time with me, your boy CJ. All right, so today I'm sharing tips on how to be a good liar. Now, I don't support lying, my people, trust me, I don't support it. But if you must do it, it's better you do it well than serving us, you know, on cooked lamba that will end up choking us as people, all right? So you have to do it, do it well. All right, so my number one point is you have to be smart. Yes, liars are very smart people. You must be able to remember a lie you told about 10 years ago without skipping an important detail. If you can't keep records, trust me, don't even bother telling a lie. Even if you're woken up from sleep and asked the same question you were asked 10 years ago, you must be able to still dish out the sauce you dropped in 2009, at least 80 to 90% of it, all right? So you must be very smart. And um, next thing, this one is very important. Liars are very confident people. Yes, without this, you are totally, I mean totally wasting your time. To be able to, you know, lead the pack and be the lion of the jungle that you want to be, you must be able to look your prey in the eyes and drop it like it's hot. Look them in the eyes and own their soul. You can't flinch when you do this, trust me. You see how some politicians come out to look us in the eyes and tell us or promise us, um, you know, constant power supply, affordable housing and the likes. That kind of confidence is crazy. And they do it with a smile on their face. But no matter how confident you are, at least don't think that you're trying to sell a story and we are not smart. So make it believable. You can't come and tell me that you started selling, um, what is it called, hair. And in two months, you have a house in Lekki. And um, in the next three months, you have another house in Lekki. And I mean, how much hair are you selling? Not like you're importing the hair. You're just buying and, um, I mean, that's too much. So which brings me to my next point. Don't over-exaggerate. Don't over-exaggerate the story. Yeah, so as much as you want to convince your prey or victim, you should not over-exaggerate, trust me. You can't say that you're a billionaire, and every time people meet up with you, you're smelling of um, firewood or what's it called, Lagos traffic. You know, the smoke and all that kind of stuff. Nah, even when you go to the hospital for a headache, the doctor gives you drugs in moderation, right? Not an overdose. So you must learn to treat your victims like he or she is a patient. Yeah, serve with care, all right? Now, my next point, you must look the part. Yeah, if you claim to own billions, yeah, your lifestyle, clothes, accessories, shoes, perfumes, and so on, must confirm your claims. When you walk the walk, you have to talk the talk, all right? Or when you talk the talk, you have to walk the walk, whichever the case is. But trust me, don't, you must look the part. Yeah, sometimes you see billionaires dressed down, don't get me wrong, a couple of times. But there is this aura having money brings that even when you wear shorts, people can still smell it, all right? So look the part. Now, my last point today, even there are lots of points, I just I don't want to make this video too long. Don't repeat yourself too much. Yeah, don't make it look like you're trying to defend your story. Say it once and move on. You can't repeat yourself, trust me. Don't say beyond the second time, even if you must, all right? This is where the confidence comes in. But when you've been caught, yeah, just do what? Throw in the towel. You live to fight another day, all right? Okay, so these few points um, of mine, on how to be good at the business of deceit. But that being said, I must really ask, must you actually lie? I feel you shouldn't, but um, if you must, then do it right. But at least thank God I'm not a liar. I'm just talking from people around me, you know? All right, have a good day.